Welcome to session three of Looking After a Hamster. This is called Story 4, but it's actually an information book. This is from the grey level. And so far with this book, we have practiced taking turns and building our fluency so that the text is read with our best reading voice. Today, we're going to begin with our green and our red words, making sure that we are fluent and quick with these. Let's find our green words. Our story green words are here. And today's focus is on reading them using Fred in our head and doing so quickly. So I will be partner one, first of all, and show you how quickly I think these should be read. Cute. That's right, I looked at it and I thought, and I knew it straight away, so I said it. After I've said it, you be partner two and you say it. Cute. Pete. Curl. Cage. Tube. Squeeze. Chew. Stale. Eyes. Now you be partner one. Cute. Pete. Curl. Cage. Tube. Squeeze. Chew. Stale. Eyes. Let's have a look at the polysyllabic words next. I'll be partner one first. Hamster. Your turn. Good. Ginger. Animal. Shelter. Litter. Scatter. Corner. Electric. Scamper. Now you be partner one. Hamster. Ginger. Animal. Shelter. Litter. Scatter. Corner. Electric. Scamper. Great work. Now, these words where the suffix makes them longer. I'll be partner one first. Are you ready? Whisker. Whiskers. Your turn. My turn. Discover. Discovering. Your turn. My turn. Sip. Sipper. Your turn. My turn. Pouch. Pouches. Your turn. My turn. Climb. Climbers. Okay, this time you be partner one and I will say this word when we're done. Whiskers. Discovering. Sipper. Pouches. Climbers. That's our starry green word check done. Now it's time for our red word check. We have done these in rows. We have done these in columns. And today we're going to do them out of order. I hope I can keep the camera in focus as I move it around. First of all, I'll be partner one. Here we go. Other. Your. There. Ah. Two. School. Many. Could. 
mother. Sun. There. Through. Your. Now you take a turn at being partner one. Other. Your. Other. You. They. There. School. One. Two. Should. You. Want. Water. Right. Okay. Now we're going to do um, a game called Jump In. And Jump In is where I read along and on the last, um, on the, I'll miss out a word and you jump in and tell me what that word should be. So let's start. This is a nice easy one for you. Looking after a hamster. Well done. Hamsters are cute little animals with ginger fur and long whiskers. If you are an animal lover, you may want to become the proud owner of a hamster. You can get one from a pet shop or an animal shelter. You were great at jumping in on that page. Let's keep going. Choosing a hamster. A girl hamster can have a litter of pups when she is 10 weeks old. Your hamster must be at least four to eight weeks old before it leaves its mother. Remember, choose a hamster with clean fur and bright eyes. Good jumping in. A home for your hamster. First, you will need a proper hamster cage. The bigger, the better. Put a layer of peat on the floor and scatter wood shavings or shreddy paper on top. When it is sleepy, your hamster will curl up in a corner and cover itself up. Remember, never keep hamsters together in the same cage. They will fight. More good jumping in. I am pleased with how you're working. Here we go. Hamster toys. Hamsters like to scamper about discovering things to play with. Get your hamster a hamster wheel. All the toys can be made at home. Tunnels made from loo roll tubes. Ladders can be made from bits of wood. Hamsters are good. Climbers. Little houses made from boxes. Great work. Your hamster will also like to come out of its cage too. Play. Scoop it up in both hands and hold it gently but firmly next to your body. Don't squeeze it. It may bite your finger. Pick it up each day. It will soon get used to you. Remember, never leave a hamster alone in a room out of its cage. It may get lost or hurt or it might chew a bit of electric flex. Feeding your hamster, give your hamster pellets from the pet shop, bits of cornflake and bread, currants, nuts and bits of cheese for a treat, fresh clean water, hamsters get thirsty too, you will need a bowl to put the food in, it must be heavy so the hamster can't turn it over, a sipper tube is best for the water. Your hamster may stuff the food in its cheek pouches to eat later. Remember, take out stale food and dirt each day. Clean the cage and change the bedding each week. Keeping your hamster fit. Check your hamster each day. Has it got a cold is its bottom dirty are its teeth or claws getting too long is it getting thinner is it bad 
tempered. Remember, never let an animal suffer. Take it to the vet if it is ill so that he or she can make it better. Now you've done great work with jumping. Now it's time for you to do a full read of the story. Let's go back to the start. Pause if you need a little longer. Pause if you need a little longer. Pause if you need a little longer. Pause the video if you need a little longer. Pause if you need a little longer. Pause if you need a little longer. Final page. Great reading. Well done. We're now going to have a think about the comprehension questions that come after the written text. On this page, questions to talk about, we find the page number next to each question. So we look on the page for the answer to this question. Page nine, what does a hamster look like? Now let's go back to page nine and find out what does a hamster look like? Can you find it on the page? Can you find what the hamster looks like? Well done to those of you looking here. A hamster has ginger fur and long whiskers. Well done. Let's go back to our questions. Page 10. Can you read that? 
Why do you think you should choose a hamster with clean fur and bright eyes? Now, that's on page 10, isn't it? It says it here. Choose a hamster with clean fur and bright eyes. But why does it say that? I think it's about choosing a healthy hamster, do you? Yes. Back to our questions. Page 11. What will your hamster do when it is sleepy? Right, let's look on page 11. What will the hamster do when it's sleepy? Can you see the phrase when it's sleepy? Yes, I think we need to read that sentence there. So what will the hamster do when it's sleepy? Curl up in a corner and cover itself up. Well done now. Page 12, what can you use to make a tunnel? I think you remember this. Let's find page 12. What can we use to make a tunnel? Can you see the word tunnel in the text? If you find that word tunnel, I think you will find the answer nearby. Here's tunnel. What can you use? That's right. Blue roll tubes. I think we really call them toilet tubes and you can see some in the picture there. Good work. Let's look at our next question. This one's going to be on page 13. That's where we'll find the answer. What might your hamster do if you squeeze it? I think I remember this too. Do you remember? Where does it talk on this page about squeezing the hamster and what might happen? Have you found that word squeeze? Have you seen it here? Don't squeeze it. It may bite your finger. So that's the answer to question 13. What might your hamster do if you squeeze it? It might bite your finger. Don't do it. Page 14. Why is it important to clean the cage and take out stale food? Let's have a look on page 14. So it tells us there. Have you found it? To take out stale food and dirt? Yeah, it's here, isn't it? But it doesn't tell us why. Why do you think it might be? Would you like to eat stale food and live in your dirt? No, everybody wants to be clean and tidy, don't they? And that's why. Page 15. How often should you check your hamster? Let's have a look. Can you see where it says how often you should check your hamster? Have a good look. Have you found it? Oh, I found it here. Check your hamster each day. That's right. Okay, well done. We've answered all of these questions that told us what page to go to. The questions on the next page don't tell us what page to go to. We've got to think about that and decide for ourselves. Question one, where can you get a hamster from? Now, where did we, sit? Where did we read that information? I think you're right, it was at the beginning. It was at the beginning of the information. Where can you get a hamster from? Can you find it on that page? Two places. That's right, last sentence here. Pet shop, that's one place, the pet shop that you can get it from. Or an animal shelter. Good finding. Question two. What do you need to buy for your hamster? And it says to make a list. So I think there might be quite a few things. What page did it tell us to do that? Let's look back. It wasn't on this page. It wasn't on that page. Um, mm. There are some things we need here. Yes, we need a cage. We need some peat and wood shavings or shredded paper. So if you've not got wood shavings, you can have shredded paper. If you've got shredded paper, you don't need wood shavings. What else do you need? We need some hamster toys, don't we? Do we need to buy them? No, because some of them can be made at home. And I think this, this is a very important page for hamsters. And, what you might need to buy. Got to buy them food, haven't you? Here's a list of the food. 
pellets, bits of cornflake and bread, currant nuts and bits of cheese. Don't need to buy the water, do we? That comes from the tap. What we're we going to put all these things in? Have you found what you put the food in? Yes, bowl. What about the water? What do you put the water in? A sipper tube. Well done. Okay. Question three. What can you make hamsters toys from? I remember this one. We've had quite a few questions on this, haven't we? There we go. What can you make hamsters toys from? Uh, three things there. Can you find each one? That's right. Loo roll tubes and bits of wood and boxes. Good. Um, number four. Why does it say remember on every page? Let's look back and look at some of those remember statements. Now this one tells us never to leave a hamster alone in a room out of its cage because it might get lost or hurt. That sounds very important, doesn't it? That's very important information about the hamster. Let's go back again. Let's find another remember statement. Remember, never keep hamsters together in the same cage or they will fight. Oh, sorry. Never keep hamsters together in the same cage. They will fight. That's it. It's very important information, isn't it? If you didn't know that, your hamster might end up in a fight and it wouldn't be safe. Um, let's have a look at this one. Remember, choose a hamster with clean fur and bright eyes. We said a while ago, can you remember what we decided? Why it had to have clean fur and bright eyes? Think back. It was because that would mean that the hamster was healthy, wouldn't it? That's Again, it's important. So I think the author has written remember when it's a very important thing that, the, that needs to be remembered. Let's have a look at the last question. How can you tell if your hamster is ill? Let's have a look at how you can tell if your hamster is ill. Here we go. Oh, there's a list of things to check. A list of things to check each day. Has it got a cold? Is its bottom dirty? Are its teeth or claws getting too long? Is it getting thinner? Is it bad tempered? I think those things would tell you that your hamster is not feeling well, that it is poorly. That was a super reading session. Well done. If you want to practice more, that's always a good idea. If you want to read this text to somebody who hasn't heard you read it already, I'm sure they would love to, to join in the pleasure of you learning to read. Well done.